What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. So today's video, I want to talk to you about a mindset that I changed within myself that's helped me to grow my sales, to grow my brand and bring in new artists and new clients, whether it's for custom beats or if it's mixing and mastering. By doing this one thing, it's helped me grow so much. I feel like it's changed my life, really. <laughs> I think it's helped so much and it's, it's made me see things in a different light and that's that one thing is desperation coming across desperate going back to when I first started making beats and hollering at artists to to jump on my beats and stuff without even realizing I was desperate I was desperate to make sales I was desperate for people to want me to I was desperate for to work with people I don't want to come across like I'm oh, I've made it blah blah it's not that I've just changed my mindset on how I do things. I've stopped being desperate. I don't, and at the time I didn't even realize I was being desperate. Now, when I'm in talks with a, a, a client or a new artist that wants to work on some stuff, mixing and mastering, custom beats, whatever it is, that sense of desperation is no longer there. That sense of, oh, I really need to get this, this job is gone. I don't do that no more. And I feel like that's helped. And the reason being is because even like imagine you're in a relationship and you, you're with the person and they're just desperate and needy and you can just you just get that feeling of this is too much it's too heavy <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying and, and if you're just starting to talk to a person in, in regards to, to working on some material and they just want to see what you're about and you're coming across like yeah like I really really want to work with you and these are my rates and blah blah then that's just going to push them away so if you can get rid of that need of wanted to grab everything that comes your way then you're I feel like you're going to see a shift like I said when you, if you're needy and desperate it pushes people away so now when I conversate with new clients and artists it's more a case of getting to know them they can understand what I do we I need to see if we're a good fit to work shouldn't it just be a case of you want to work with them yeah if they're established and, you, and it's a good way for you to get more exposure blah blah then you might have a, a sense of oh I really want to work with this person but even if you do feel that don't show it do you know what I'm saying just just don't show it and it will work because <laughs> It's a psychology thing. You know in yourself that you want to work with this person, but you don't have to come across like you really want to work with this person so badly because you're really desperate for the money. And yeah, it's just off-putting. So like I said, since I've changed that mindset, things have grown for me. Beat sales, mix and mastering gigs, custom beats, working on singles, recording artists. Yeah, I just think you get to a point where you are realizing that certain things are holding you back from from really getting yourself out there and making making it happen. Like I'm a believer in God, so I, I trust in God that he's going to open doors for me and make make stuff happen for me. Obviously, I've got to put the work in. I can't just pray and think, oh, God's going to open doors for me and then I'm going to go and spend six hours on FIFA. It doesn't work like that. You have to trust to let go. I know I'm going a bit deep here, but whatever your beliefs is, if you believe in the universe or whatever it is you believe in, you, ha you have to let go and let that happen and trust in that. So yeah, I think I'm going kind of off the subject. Well, I'm not off the subject, but a bit deep. For me, that's just been one of the biggest things, getting rid of that desperation. I've got to say, as an example, I hit up an artist, or oh, they'll hit me up, we talk, it'll go quiet. And then I might follow up that week later, two weeks later, three weeks, whatever it is, and then keep the conversation going. Whereas before, it would be a case of hitting them up like regular too soon, do you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like, mm, yeah, this guy is a bit desperate to work. So it kind of, like I said, it just makes them back off and then you, you probably lose out on working with that artist client or whatever it is it that they do so this is just a quick video just quick how long is it oh five minutes not bad so yeah it's a quick video just sharing what's helped me to grow that little bit more and boost my brand career and clientele and all that good stuff and i hope it helps you if this video's helped hit the like button hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime i put up a new video Hit me up on Instagram, DM me. I don't always get to see the comments on YouTube. I've, I've missed loads of them. As per usual, I appreciate your time and thank you for watching.